Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, 617 on your Wednesday morning. Welcome back. Halfway through the week, uh, we know a big cool down is mm -hmm. on the way. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's some weather to enjoy for right now. Yeah, and with the cold comes the beauty sometimes. Mm -hmm. And this True. picture was sent in to us from Tioga yesterday when you have very cold temperatures in the upper atmosphere. And uh, that will give you a sun dog, especially this time of year. This is from Andrew, and it's kind of hard to make out. But on either side of the sun there, you can see the sun refracting through the ice crystals. That was in Tioga. That was in northern North Dakota. Then we head to uh, far western North Dakota, kind of near Medora, seven miles west of Belfield. Jody sent in this picture. So some uh, freezing fog off in the distance there on that ranch. And so good morning uh, to you, Andrew, and good morning to you, Jody. Thank you for your pictures. So temperatures out the door right now are mostly in the 20s. We're looking at some around 30. In fact, around 30 in Beach and kind of near Medora, near Belfield, near that ranch, and also near Tioga. We're in the low 20s, but 30 degrees in Minot and 20 now in Bismarck. But we're above average for not just just morning lows, but for daytime highs. And so the high today will be 37 in Minot. That average is 27. So looking pretty good for, again, not just morning lows, but afternoon temperatures. Here's your Bismarck Almanac. You can see here the overnight low tonight, 27, the average about 10. And so we're a little above average there with 36 and an average of 30. So wind speeds are light today. They're mostly out of the west this morning. They stay light through the day today. They're not going to pick up as much as yesterday. And we're just as warm as yesterday. So you'll be able to enjoy a little more with some sunshine. Uh, in fact, slightly cooler off towards the east, uh, low 30s there, but you cascade into the mid to even some upper 40s now in eastern Montana. It'll feel pretty good in Sydney, Montana this afternoon. And we also have a mostly sunny sky with a few clouds trying to move in later today, more than likely this evening. It's over the weekend that we pull in our next best chance for more widespread light snow. If you've got travel plans, don't cancel them. This is not going to be a storm. This will be a quick moving system that could give us a few inches of snow. It will make for things, uh, things slip but it won't give you anything that would make travel impossible. We have a big cool down as we head into the next work week, really with that snow as it comes in. It's ushering in some colder air. Here's a forecast today. Lots of sunshine. Here's the cloud cover as it moves in. We'll have some snow that stays along the border there. So we could see even maybe a few light snow showers along the Turtle Mountains by tomorrow morning. And as we head into Thursday, we'll see those clouds decrease into the afternoon. And in fact, we'll actually get some sunshine, it looks like, and temperatures tomorrow back into the upper 20s and the low 30s. Lows tonight, as you can tell, there another round of above average overnight lows with tomorrow not as warm, but that's really on par with where we should be when we're in the 20s and around 30. Here's your Dickinson three-day forecast. 31 is our average high. We're well above that today. Upper 20s tomorrow, bumping right back up to around 40 on Friday. That cool down for Thursday is, <coughs> excuse me, short-lived here. Here's your Williston three-day forecast. Uh, really <coughs> average. So when we cool down tomorrow, we're actually right at that average high, and then we're back to around 40 on Friday. Uh, we have Friday highs looking good, rounding out the work week, slightly above average for many. And then we head into Sunday with that chance for snow, and we really cool down after that. Temperatures plummet, overnight lows, single digits, sub-zero. Here's your Minot seven-day forecast. It's going to be pretty cold next week, and then uh, Bismarck, excuse me, my clicker just got away from me there. That was not operator error. Um, <laughs> this is uh, Bismarck seven-day forecast. Again, a big cool down next week. Yeah, that's what they all say about operator error. Mm -hmm. I did not it's hit never... that again. I did not hit that button again. It did it on its own. All right, we'll check the tape. <laughs> yeah. We'll check the tape. <laughs> the tape. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Keep it with us on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead. A minute neighborhood.